Hello heroes, Kelthar of the Heroes and Legends, and welcome back to the channel. So, Battle for Azeroth came out, and everyone's been playing like a madman, including myself. That's why I haven't really had any content. But, trust me, I have been recording. I have my 110 to 120 experience. I'm not sure if we want to see that. If we do, it's me and my guild going to town on levels. Um, there's also... I'm actually working really hard on my Pride of Kul Tiris reaction series, which is all of the Jaina cutscenes that you experience as an Alliance character leveling. Um, I'm almost done with that. I don't want to put them out one by one. I want to do them all together. The reason it's taken so long is because there's a lot of questing footage in between. There was a lot of uh, moments where I was like in loading screens, oh, you know, all these little things, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a full-on let's do it all or just the videos, and I've decided... It's like two hours long. I don't want to do all of it. So I'm just going to chop it down to the cutscenes and then the analysis at the end. That's coming soon, but that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for today is, as you can see, Warbringer Zajara dropped today while I was at work. I'm home to react to it. And it's long. Look, it's seven minutes long. Well, there's like credits and stuff, but it's a long one. And I've heard that it's probably from various people i follow on twitter some say it's the best some say it's second best we'll talk about all that after i watch it so no more messing around let's react to it okay okay i think that's zinashari My very first World of Warcraft book was War of Eternity. Or is it War of the Ancients? War of the Ancients, not War of Eternity. War of the Ancients trilogy. Look at that fish. Shit, who's whispering to her? Whoa! crown what's the significance with the circle the deal she's talking about deal <laughs> i like deal who are you it's an old guy naya lotha no i mean uh nizoth no nizoth <laughs> yeah nizoth for a thousand years bound beneath these waves i have watched you i have tasted your essence. Oh shit. You. It won't be long now. Your death is near. Only I can sustain you. Let go. 
serve me. You? You are nothing. Nothing? <laughs> I am a god! Oh, shit. Before you walk this land, I ruled. Uh. Magnificent. Serve me, and we will rebuild my Oh shit! <laughs> How is she still able to breathe magic? Is she losing her breath now finally? Oh shit! So the circle is his eye, the eye of Nazoth. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk about this. Move this a little bit away. Okay, um. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. Ajara. Really, really, really don't know how I feel. I mean, this was amazing. Let me start by saying this. This was amazing. I still give the edge to the Jaina one because. There's a couple of reasons. Um, not to talk too much about it, but I like Jane as a character more. So there's a little bit of bias. It was a sea shanty. How can you say no to a sea shanty? Um, okay, enough about Jaina. Now, Ashara. Okay, like I said, the very first World of Warcraft or Warcraft book... I've read was where the ancients trilogy but it wasn't just the individual books at the thick super thick like all the trilogy into one gigantic super which I think I have no it's in it's in it's in a box in my closet somewhere I need to take that out I was looking up on my my uh, geek, my shelf of geekery back there there's a lot of stuff back there um, but no it's not there and it's the first one and um, I only read it because oh, I'm a Night Elf, like, for life. My first WoW character, Night Elf. I 
thought Illidan was a badass. I mean, I was... How old was I when, when uh, Warcraft 3 was... Let's see... I was 18? 17? I was 17. No, 16. It was the... When Warcraft 3 came out, I was about 16. Um, so still... I was a teenager, and I was like, oh, I liked really cool things, like, uh, well, I loved anime even back then, but I loved, like, swords and cool stuff like that, so when I played Warcraft 3, and I was like, Illidan, whoo, you know, with the war glaives, and I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen, you know, it's a blindfolded, like, sort of assassin-looking dude, he's pretty badass. Anyways, he was the, you know, I was mainly reading uh, that for him, and I learned a lot about a lot of characters Learned that I still don't like Malfurion. I mean, he's cool and powerful and all. I just kind of think he's a dick. Um, Taranda's okay. Um, but then Ajara. I, because of that book, learned quite a bit about... I don't like Ajara. She is... If I could like relate her to something like real, is she's like that conceited, arrogant, like girl that everybody has had one of these in their lives that conceited arrogant and sort of like i'm the best type of girl that just looks down on everybody she was the popular girl in school and everybody like fawned over her not my type of thing uh and i just really couldn't stand her but i was like oh she's gonna get her you know get hers her dude who her do her come up and it'll happen um, she makes a deal with Sargeras uh, to be queen, and that's when he starts sending the armies in. And you know she's making a deal to let let them all in, and she's like, "Oh yeah, I'll make you my queen." Um, he had no intention of that. Oh hell no! Come on, Sargeras would never do that. He was just like using her. She didn't know that. She was like, "Oh, I'm the queen." Blah blah. blah. Send all these demons in, whatever, you know. And then her highborn sorcerers would work with her. She's one of the most powerful uh, mages Azeroth has ever had. Um, I don't know how strong she is now. We'll find out, I'm assuming, because she's a major feature to Battle for Azeroth. I'm wondering if there's going to be a showdown between the Queen Ajara of the Oceans and the Daughter of the Sea. Oh my god, it just has me so excited thinking about it. Um, there's so many things. Uh, um... So, yeah, I really didn't know how I felt about her. She was conceited and arrogant. They kind of sort of took her down. At the end, she makes this deal that you see here. She At the end of it, she makes a deal with Nizoth. I said Nihilotha, but I think that's where he's at. That's the raid, which I'm sure we'll eventually go to. Um, I think that's where he's sleeping or where he was sleeping. He's awake now. But um, <clears throat> he's, he's an old god, and we are going to have to face him. I wonder if he's the big bad of the expansion. I wonder if it's going to come down to because it's, it's a seafaring expansion. You have the two navies of the two sides. They're fighting, you know, tooth and nail. And it's really good so far. And then all of a sudden, Ajara comes out. And she's the precursor to Nazoth. And it's like, I have a feeling that's where this is going. It's, it's kind of like seeming that way a little bit more clearly now. Um, but I really would like to see Jaina sort of take front and center stage against Ajara. And uh, see how that goes. Um, I know Jane is really, really powerful. Probably the most, uh, with the exception of Azar, I think Jane is probably the most powerful uh, mage um, to come out of like Dalaran and and of the living and of all the people we know. She's definitely way more powerful than Cadgar and some of the other mages out there of the Kirin Tor, um, other famous powerful mages. I don't know how she stacks up against Jara. I'd really like to find that out. I hope that is sort of touched upon in some shape, some way, shape, or form in this expansion. Whether that be they have a showdown or something to that effect. I'm really, really, really pumped to find out. But now we have, you know, it's 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 all coming to a head. So we're gonna we're gonna see where where this Ajara raid takes us. It has to be after Uldir. I wonder if it's I think it's going to be the second raid, not tier, but I think it's going to be the second half. Because there was just two raids at the beginning of Legion. It's supposed to be two at the beginning of this one. So it's Old Year, and then shortly thereafter, I bet we're going to face uh, Ajara in... I wonder where this is, is it going to be. It's not Nihilotha. Will it be Najjatar, I think is what it's called. Uh, they always, they're always saying for Najjatar. I wonder if that's her like kingdom. 
Uh, under the sea. Under the No, I'm just kidding. Um, whew, so excited. So let's uh, usually like to peek around at the different things. Oh, so this is where she turns him down. Okay. Some really good. Oh, I think this is going to be the. Is there a better f shot of her face? That was really cool. This is where she's like, oh, what's going to happen? I made my plan. So much cool stuff. We have to get her at the beginning when she's like holding back all the waves. So that's too close. Too zoomed in. And then the fish, which I had no idea was Nazoth. That's pretty sweet, though. Like, she's holding back a tidal wave. She's protecting her city just by herself. Now, if you remember, I think it's War Crimes, Jaina is summoning an equally massive tidal wave. So that's the only thing I have to go on to, to, to talk about their respective power levels. She's holding back a tidal wave. Jaina can summon, I'm assuming, an equally large tidal wave. Now, I don't know if Jaina was breaking a sweat while doing it, uh, she's obviously doing it because she's have to. She's having to hold it back, and it's it's not easy to do that. Or maybe this tidal wave is bigger. I don't know. I don't know. But if you know, and if you have to correct me or have something you want to talk about, do it in the comments below. There's so much more to see. Hopefully, you're enjoying the expansion. Please look forward to the Pride of Kultiras uh, reaction uh, videos. Um, video I'm gonna put out. That's coming in a few days. I want to say probably by Monday. Whew. And then uh, once that's out. We'll do some more other stuff. Whatever strikes my fancy. If you want to see my leveling experience with my guildmates, tell me below. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Kelthar of the Heroes and Legends. This has been... Let's find it. This has been Warbringers Ashara. My reaction and thoughts. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. <laughs>